Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 34th video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, I have shown you how you can create a brand new configuration item, CI, right? And also how CI relationship works. I have explained you each and everything about CI relationship. And I've also created a CI relation, brand new CI relationship in our newly created configuration item, right? And I've also shown you how it is working. And you understood by the last video that how CI is important, right? Okay. So if you missed that video, guys, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link here on your screen, right? So let's see what we are going to learn from today's video. All right. So you can see two green lines are there. So we have completed the different components of CI CMDB. And uh, in the last video, we have seen the configuration item creation and all, also the CI relationship. Now in today's video, we will discuss about the functionality of CMDB. And as per the video title, you understood, right? How CMDB is actually working right i'll show you and also we would discuss about different uh, you know different software or different application by which we can get the cmdb details inside of the service now right so make sure you watch the full video guys this is the last video of this section cmdb so it's going to be very very important so if you have watched those two, first two videos then this video is will complete the understanding of cmdb for the system service now administrator examination but yes there are different things available that we would cover in later videos right so let's start okay so now we are going to see some of the uses of cmdb in the itsm first i will show you here in the powerpoint and then i will go to my personal developer instance and i'll show you practically so the thing we are going to discuss is about the itsm right you know the it service management so we have very important process for itsm that is the incident management change management problem management and request management so if you are working in it you know how these four things are important right and how cmdb is helping so you can see in incident management i'll show you even uh, in while well, creating a new incident how cmdb is helpful but before that let's understand this like for incident management an infrastructure component broke in our data center what part of business is affected we can determine with the help of the cmdb so if something is not working something is broken we know in that situation we create a new incident right now if a particular service suppose a particular service like email service is affecting uh, many times so we can identify it in our configuration item right this there is a field in configuration item in our incident form right i'm going to show you in a minute so now we can determine we would be able to understand that which part of the business is getting affected for the incident right for the problem if i go to the problem directly we know that whenever the same incident or like so we know the problem management right what is the problem right whenever a same incident is repeating or particular service is getting affected again and again then a root solution root cause analysis a solution needs to be provided right to fix the problem permanently so that's why we use the problem management so you can see we have identified a defect in our infrastructure what business applications are affected that can be also stored in the cmdb because there is a field in the problem form also name as cmdb same goes for the change management so you know when something needs to change for an example we need to add server space and maybe we need to um, you know change some hard drive in a data center anything right so for this kind of thing we need uh, need to raise change in it so we need to change something in our data center like i was telling how will this affect our business right that can be determined also with the help of the cmdb and same request management i would like to have new software loaded on my computer then what is the software what is the service we can determine in the cmdb field right now before moving to the next slide let me go to the service now developer instance and let me show you how we can do that okay okay so i'm here in my service now developer instance guys so you remember yes i mean last day we would we have created our new ci so i'll go to there I, i'll go there so if i type configuration i will get the cmdb whole menu here the application menu cmdb you can see now from here i will go to the uh, it is the it was the windows server right so i'll go to the windows under server windows from here let me unpin the menu from here we have created our server that is a windows 2016 dc right this is the one we have created right now what i'm going to do is that i'll open an incident form let's open the server i mean ci in this tab this is these are the details that we have filled up in the last video 
so i'll go here and uh, let me go to the incident form so i'll type incident dot form form in capital so that it can open in a new tab all right so you can see there is a option there is a section called configuration item service okay these are some uh, client script was there okay so this is a configuration item we have service offering service now these are all part of the configuration item table so let's log an incident so let's type something like yeah okay i will use our new server in the configuration item so the server name is windows 2016 dc and this is the configuration item so i should find it in the configuration item tab so i'll type in windows server sorry it was the windows to windows 2016 dc so this is the windows server right so this is there in the configuration item so suppose maybe server is not working server is not working and maybe right so suppose it's a p1 incident that means number of people are affected because of this server so as you know that if this server is not working windows server dc we have seen in our dependency view these services this e-commerce whole services will get affected right so this is a p1 incident so i'll do one one p1 okay again this is <laughs> some client script or business rule probably which is coming up uh okay let's save it okay so the page is loaded now what i'm going to do is that from this incident you know that i can create a problem ticket right so many people are affected so i want a permanent solution i'm going to click on create problem in the same way i can create standard or normal change so i'm going to show you with the help of the problem so you can see in the problem the configuration item field would be there problem table so this is a problem table configuration item is automatically added up right done problem created now what i'm going to do i'm going to go to this windows server dc here so i'm going to click on the dependency view now you'd see the important things so you know that in the dependency view i would be able to see the chart i have shown you and explained you the dependency view in the last video again if you missed it you watch it you should watch it right now there is a thing you can see if i zoom down here you can see in the windows server there are some icon available let's see what are they so first in the gear icon you can see there is a problem this is a sign of a problem active problem count up for ci1 so there is a one problem ticket you can see the problem ticket number is also available right there is the prb00 server is not working for this particular server already one problem ticket is there if i go here this is probably for the incident active incident count for this ci is this is the incident number so we can identify with the help of the dependency view that this server is affected or not okay now if i go here it is saying the total count of affected ci total count is two one is for the incident one is for the problem if i create another incident and add configuration item as windows server the count will increase the incident count will become two right so you understand how important it is now if i go back now from here if i go to the dashboard version right here you can check a different things about the windows server this is our ci right so you can see completeness relationship so if there are duplicate relationship it will show you no rules are currently set up so nothing has been set up so i'll show you the dashboard also in from cmdb dashboard but if i scroll down here you can see uh, this is the timeline where it is showing different things where i change the data you can see last day we have changed the relationship we have changed the properties relationship change everything is get get getting updated in the timeline so it is very very important now if i come here and click on incident now we can see there is one incident is assigned for this particular CI, right? So I open the dashboard version and I scroll, if I scroll down, I can see how many incident is assigned, how many task is assigned. You can see there's a problem ticket. Problem is also a type of task, right? Now, very importantly, if I click on the business services, we have seen that there are different services dependent on particular, the e-commerce dependent on Windows Server. You can see these services, business criticality one, they are also affected because of this incident, right? Right, retail point of sale, retail client, these are all the services. So if I open the dashboard view of a particular CI, I can get all this kind of information. So right now I've just for example I've logged one incident but in a real environment in your organization there would be number of incident which would be assigned for particular uh, CI right so this is how CI is important for the ITSM view right so let's go back 
Next, we have the CI class manager and we have a picture here. However, let's go to the ServiceNow developer instance where I would explain about it. Okay, so I'm back to my developer instance. I'll show you CI class manager here. So I'll type configuration. And if I scroll down, let me pin the menu for the time being. Now from here, if I go to the config here, now CI class manager and last day I told you I will explain you this thing CI class manager. What is CI class manager? What is a CI class? CI class are nothing but uh, in the last video I have already explained. CI class are nothing but this is the categorization of the configuration item under which category it is there. Different class. So we have divided in a different class. So if I unpin it right now for the time being, if I click on hierarchy, now you can see there are different there are different classes are available. You can see there are 16 CI available under the application class dot application. This is a CI. If I click on the dot application now from here, we can see the display name. We can see the table name under which table it is coming. These are the basic info. If I click on the attributes now, I would be able to see all the attributes. What are the fields available for dot net application? You can see these are the attributes available right for this particular CI dot net application. So this is a like a centralized location from where you can search for a different you can search based on different uh, classes and you can see their attributes their configure. I mean all the details of the configuration item you can get it from here. OK, now uh, the we can search for our. We can go for the server class. We have the server web server Windows server. OK, let's go to the server. Under server, we have Windows Server 9, right? These are the options available. Again, basic menu, we can go Windows Server, CMDB CI Windows Server. These are the attributes of the CI. Then if I go down and if I go to the CI list, I can see all the CI, right? These are the CI that Windows Server has. And we have the new CI Windows Server, Windows 2016 DC. You can see the CI from. So you can see from here, you can manage from a centralized location, like I said. You can also see the related items relation which is loading up. So this is a very important place uh, from where you can get all the details of the different CI based on the class, right? You can see hierarchy. So I'll go to the all again. And this time I'll show you another very important things, which is the CMDB dashboard. OK, before that we have the CMDB query builder. So this is also important. This is a kind of an advanced reporting uh, kind of things you could say. Uh, let it uh, let load the page. Yeah, so you can see from here we can create new queries. So let me try with a demo query demo So you can search it for the advanced reporting. So I'm just give you an example now These are some advanced topics. So but I'll show you for an example suppose I want to see the server class, right? So I'll type here server and Under server we have different server database server this server Web server we have nine. So let's just put web server. Let's drag it web server here. This is the first thing, right? OK, now here also we can add few more. So for example, I'm going to show you right now with this only. So this is a web server class. If I click on run now. We can see. What are the web server? We would probably see the result of what are the web server available. Now you have to enable the pop up for a new tab. You can see these are the web server available. So this is a very simple query I have seen. You can create much more complex query inside of the CMDB query builder, right? So this is how CMDB query builder is working. Now in future videos, we will go in very deep things, right? After completing this series, whole series, then where I will explain you all these detailed things. For the time being, we are studying it. We are understanding the knowledge for mainly for the ServiceNow system administrator, the first uh, exam or the certificate CSA that we are looking for right now. Also, we have the dashboard. Let's go to the dashboard. Now you can see if I go down, you can see service and service offering. These are I, I was telling you, right? These are part of the configuration, right? CMDB, right? So now CMDB dashboard. If I go on the dashboard, dashboard we have already I've already shown you right for the particular CM uh, configuration item. So I'll go to the CMDB view. First see with the CMDB view. However, this dashboard, I probably this is out of the box. Uh, CMDB dashboard. So most of the things won't be available, but in a real time environment uh, dashboards are there. So you can see it is loading and most of the data we will get as a NA because this is a demo instance. Again, in a real instance, you would get all these details. 
relationship health also i don't think i would be able to show you something no data to display but what i can do is that now there is something very special there in the tokyo version that is the different workspace now we would understand workspace in upcoming videos right so stay tuned for that but for the time being we have a cmdb workspace created now we can see there some details about the configuration item these are by default um, they out of the box create created thing so you can see now from here we can search for particular configuration item and search for we can get the ci overview how many cis are available right now we can see there is a chart available here now this is a workspace that also you can create from the blank but creating workspace would be out of the syllabus but we would understand about the workspace in a upcoming videos right so now what i'm trying to show you is that with the help of the cmdb dashboard you can do cmdb dashboard you can get all the you know details about your cmdb things are there okay let's move on to the powerpoint so ci class manager ci query builder and ci dashboard is done now let's move on we would see now we would see what are the different ways to populate cmdb in service now first is the manual manual configuration item we can create those configuration item manually i have shown you last day how we created the windows server one the next one is the service now discovery now it is very important in the next slide i will explain you how it is working also now with the help of this we can get uh, you know the ci from a from from, a, from different system right i'll tell you next is the import sets now we have already understood about the import sets i have videos for service now import sets you have missed if you missed that video do watch it so with the help of the import sets we can also include you know with the help of the transform map staging table right so we can also import the configuration item data now service now discovery now this is something again out of the topic but i would try to explain you this in very short so this is the service now discovery uh, architecture how it is working so this is a uh, windows firewall so you can see this is the service now discovery discovery so what is happening discovery is nothing but discovery is helping you can see these meet server these are nothing but the java applications meet servers very small java application and what they are doing is that they are being installed in a different different server like for an example this is installed in a linux server this meet server is installed in the windows server right and this meet server 3 is installed in the cloud environment cloud computing environment right what this meet server is doing meet server is taking the information so in the linux server the details of the desktop details of the any router if it is connected what are the processor of linux server each and every details they are taking in the meet server and they are sending the data back to the service now back to the service now cmdb same way meet server 2 is connecting collecting information from the windows server so this is a automated way right automatically information would be taken by the met server and then it would push to the uh, cmdb also with the in the cloud same things would happen so these are the automation like discovery is the automation tool inside of service now it is available so again these are the things i will show you in the advanced classes of service now now for the time being you understand that with the help of service now discovery you can get all the configuration item details from different system they like windows server linux server different areas right and you can store it inside of the service now so i hope this video is clear guys so we have understood first what is cmdb what is can configuration item then we have seen how to create a configuration item and what are the configuration relationship how we can mention the configure affected configuration item in the itsm right in the incident form problem form in the even in the change form then we can get the details like for a particular ci in the dashboard version how many how many incidents are locked for a particular ci right how many problems are locked and this information would help a particular organization to understand that where the problem is and how to get a solution that cmdv is a, again a very very vast thing guys in the advanced service now class i would try to cover it out so this would be it for today guys and this is it for the this section service now uh, cmdb in the next class we would start with a start with a new topic right so if you find the video helpful hit the like button if you have any question come to the comment section and don't forget to share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people see you in my next video bye bye take care